la 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 leo la 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 leo la 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 leo la 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 leo la 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 what's up leos what's up lion good 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 gang what's up baby what's going on with a damn leo between a me and my thigh sober hmm hmm is y'all intuition popping hmm hmm or y'all want to manifest your desires hmm hmm new things coming to fruition Hey, what's up, Alliance? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, look out. If this is your first time viewing my channel, look, I make us a little, I make us a lot. Just depend on what the hell these cards say, okay? Um, So, if custom is not for you, you may want to go find Mary Magdalene fucking tarot because this is, this is my shit. So, I'm going to cuss. We don't fight. We don't fuss. Okay, we are one big, happy, dysfunctional, loving, growing family. Yes, we are. Okay, there are times we may get on here and we may cry. Okay, and even when we cry, we're going to cuss because it's our authentic selves. And goddamn, if you want to speak on this mug as part of my family here, ain't no telling what we on. This is no judgment zone. We don't, we don't flex. We don't do none of that. We are family. We love. We share. We enlighten. We grow. Okay, positive shit only. All right, so this is not a personal. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. I have a sale going on. Y'all better go check them videos out. Um, um, there was a fifteen dollars off sale. Fifteen dollars off. Not everything is not fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars off the price for my thirty. 45 minute and 60 minute sessions and I also have for 48 hours only ending on the 19th okay um a $10 10 minute one question one spread reading one answer okay um and it's ending on the 19th at 12 a.m so definitely well pretty much the 20th at 12 a.m so get your reading especially in okay this will be for my sun moon rising venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of leo thank you so much for the likes the shares the subscribes the comments y'all i read every single comment i may don't have time to reply because this girl is a busy girl but y'all i want y'all to know that i send you guys nothing but healing and loving vibrations and just really 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 pray for the spirit of abundance to reign over your lives it's a very karmatic time this damn venus retrograde in scorpio it's very uncomfortable um and so we finna get to it all right so we rocking spirit message first leo like i said your intuition is on for on fleek okay it's on the fleek okay but however some of you all may may see things before they occur either through your dreams okay but it's about you taking the wisdom from situations okay not knowing what you know and then moving in a dark way with it okay don't play fucking people pe people people puppet chess yeah yes i made it you know what the hell it is don't don't play puppeteers with people okay don't turn your intuition into something dark and that's for a few people or for someone in your energy leo i feel like you're really needing to be grateful during this time 10 10 was a very very interesting day for you all it's a very purging day a lot of you all may be seeing a lot of birds during this time okay some of you could definitely be um some of you definitely have a spiritual relationship maybe with the capricorn okay or an aries that's strong here i also see here the things that you want baby you got to see the abundance be, be, be willing to see the abundance around you because there is so much during this time that is coming to fruition around you spirit wants you to move if you want to manifest your desires you have to first be grateful okay be grateful for the things you already have. Gratefulness brings greatness. Some of you all, that greatness definitely involves a king of water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is definitely can or can also definitely be a soulmate or a twin flame to you all. This person is very, very, very intuitive, and if this is them using the dark side of their intuition, and this person has fell back from you, but it seems like they just know every time you be happy. But you love this person with everything. It's like this person knows, you know, every time you're happy or maybe you, you know, are the intuitive. OK, or you're dealing with someone 
who's very intuitive. Or maybe you guys have a telepathic bond with one another because you are twin flames. And I feel like this person feels you out, but they use it in a dark way. It's like they know when to come in and cut your ass with the dagger. All right? That made sense for a few people. You guys are really wanting to bring something into fruition. Some of you guys are waiting on communication or waiting to deliver communication. And it definitely is involving a soulmate, possibly a water sign or air sign, um, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like you're wanting to bring something to fruition. However, you're needing to speak your truth. You're needing to stand in your power, not in an ego-filled or prideful way, but speak your truth. Everybody's not a mind reader. Some of y'all dealing with a mind reader, <laughs> but everybody's not a mind reader. So with that said, you, the spirit is really wanting you to, in order to make a soulmate relationship blossom and you get what it is that you desire, first off, detach yourself from an expectation of an outcome. That's first. Second, truly be open and communicate openly and honestly about what it is that you want to see grow. Plant your seeds. Spirit wants you to know the seeds that you have planted towards a soulmate relationship, they have not gone unnoticed. Okay? I feel like you guys want to control the outcome, and that's why things are not going the way that you want them to go. But Spirit is definitely wanting me to let you know that there will be harmony, okay, coming to terms with the soulmate. For some of you all, it's another Aries Leo Sagittarius. But I feel like some of you all could be seeing a lot of threes, three, 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 or synchronicities of the number six. Okay, it could even be steps up like four, five, six. We want you to know that you're on the right path, okay? But some of you all, it's really finding that harmony within yourself. Some of you all need to make amends with your mother. OK, or if you are a mother and you're having issues uh, possibly with the with the child's father. OK, or your father, that's a soulmate. But you guys definitely are really, really need to heal. heal what well, definitely are needing to heal issues surrounding a mother figure, because I feel like you're paying attention to the situations on the surface. Not so much, you know, as pretty much like hereditary cycles really stop get out your damn head so much go to bed okay and be reflective okay over the things that you don't like about your mother or maybe the issues that you had as far as acceptance and not wanting to be alone or feeling like you know you weren't seen or you weren't recognized or you know that feeling you really needed to heal that because i feel like if you truly 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 look deep within you see a cycle okay and somebody not gonna like that i said but fuck it, I don't work for you. I'm just a messenger. I just work here. Okay. So with that said, there's definitely needing to be some type of internal harmony. If it's on the external, some of you guys are really needing to heal from mother issues or possibly fears around starting something new based on traditional values of how you seen your mother lead in a relationship, especially if you came from a single mother, um, from a single mother home and you are a single mother now. You know, you're really needing to see, you know, some of the error in your own ways through your mother uh it's a lesson in it okay and it's not about who's right who's wrong that harmony needs to definitely be definitely great be communicated okay because both of you all are stubborn as hell but both of you all want the harmony you want to start over you want to grow but some of you all you will be receiving communication about them babies congratulations mother love the kids okay and spirit wants you to know you may not see it as a blessing at this time for someone, they're not seeing this as a blessing, but this baby is truly bringing harmony into your life. And it's up to you to truly recreate, you know, your way of looking at things. Because I feel like somebody is pregnant. They're finding out about a pregnancy, okay? And this could definitely involve an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person is a soulmate, Leo. And I feel like you're going out of one cycle into another one. For some of you all, it's definitely a Taurus, okay? But there's a transformation happening around this union. But the tools of y'all is stubborn. One person is in their head. And because the other person feels intuitively this other person's energy, Y'all literally playing emotional chess with one another when only thing y'all really got to do to turn things around and bring that harmony to fruition, new mother, is communicate. Speak what you feel because this other person is feeling, but they're assuming and they, it's one, two of the, either one of y'all or two of y'all are making an ass out of your relationship. I make an ass out of yourselves within this relationship because of a lot of assumptions when two grown ups can talk. Okay, some of you all during this time, 
some of you all are need, needing to go into new cycles, possibly with your own children. If you're, in, if you're a Leo with an adult child and that child is a Taurian or another Leo, this child could also be a Pisces. There's a lot of healing to be done, baby. And I feel like you're in your head avoiding communication, but I feel like that is the blockage. For some of you all, you feel stagnant, like what's going on with my money? What's going on? Well, what's going on with Leo? Leo, you're fixed. So you're having to get out of your own way because you don't really like rapid change, but you're having to do things differently in order to get the results that it is that you want, baby. You cannot continue to do the same shit and expect to receive the results that you want if it ain't worth then. It ain't worked the last time. It's not going to work next week. You got to change. Change is good. This whole journey is about evolution. You can't stay the same, baby. Even the weather changes. You can't stay the same and expect growth. You got to shift and major shifts are happening. Some of you all want to take a leap of faith possibly towards the Capricorn. Or possibly towards a relationship that in the past you, you honestly know that it's toxic. Either you or this other person, you or this Capricorn, or this could also be an Aries as well. You or this other person has had a revelation. You or this other person has gone through a transformation, so you're seeing things a bit differently. You're now seeing that that love that you thought that you just knew, oh, this is boo, this is babe, this is, this is the hubs, this is a pile of shit. He's the indecisive motherfucker who just want to hold on to some shit. So he minds fuck. He or she minds fuck. They mind fuck me. Some of you all are indecisive about how to move also with the Taurus, okay? But I feel like this person won't let go. It's like they don't know what the hell they want, but they also won't let go. And the communication is not clear. And for some of you, you're going to choose to hold on to that person because that person is truly what you desire. But I promise you, if you choose to detach from the outcome that you're expecting from that person, okay, or expecting from that union and truly communicate with this person, look, this is how I feel about you. You my soulmate and I desire this union, but I'll be dead. I'll be dead. Damn it. If you think you're going to come up in here and try and play me like I'm some sort of sucker. No. This holding on to me, change starts within self. So if I'm putting in all of this work, you're going to meet me halfway. And actions speak louder than words. I'm done listening. Now I'm all, I'm all eyes, Mr. Miss. I'm all eyes. I see your ass. Okay? Some of you all, <clears throat> some of you all want to take a leap of faith definitely towards, um, <laughs> Another Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Y'all, and some of you all are just like, uh, intuitively, you know that this person, for some of y'all, this person has changed. For some of you all, this person is still a little manipulative fuck. For some of you all, it's an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but someone is very controlling. They want to control how things go, what what happens with the relationship, how everybody moves, what the hell we all wear uh, to the damn Sunday dinner. They just they just want to control every damn thing, okay? This person will tell you what type of drawers you can and can't wear. Some of you all are definitely indecisive about a marriage. It's just like, or indecisive possibly about continuing a relationship with the Libra. I feel like this person is also very indecisive, yet they don't know, yet they don't want to let you go. And a lot of you during this time are deciding, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to heal from the situation. Some of you all will possibly be going to court during this time. And I feel like if it's something that if it's something that you've been working on for quite some time, there's a healing around the situation. And there's harmony coming to a situation that was once unbalanced and once a toxic situation. And I feel like with this Libra, with this justice card being here, I feel like it will be fair for everyone involved. There's definitely healing coming to a situation. Some of you guys have a fire sign in your energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could also be you, Leo, or you could also be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person has options. And I feel like ultimately you want to see the relationship grow. You want to build with this person. However, some of you all may be finding out some very uninteresting, you know, well, not uninteresting, very interesting news. 
And it's something unintended. It's like something, someone has been being very defensive towards you, especially if this is a fire element, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you're going to find out this person has options of this person was actually out dealing with someone else, okay? I feel like the same efforts that she wanted this person to put in, they were out putting that effort, putting, well, pretty much exerting that, elf, that effort elsewhere. And it's really going to break your heart, but it's going to allow you to move forward, okay? Some of you all would. For those of you who want it, who was worth, for those of you who own your own businesses, okay? I can look at this as many ways Spirit is talking. Those of you who own your own businesses, who are worried about financial issues and your business growing, stop it. Stop it. Speak it in existence already as if it's already here. Use this energy for your advantage, okay? Don't allow this energy to go against your to go against pretty much your manifestations. It's how you choose to look at it. Allow your perspectives to shift. Start thanking the creator for everything that you do have already. Start speaking to God, thank you for my successful business. God, thank you for all of these clients coming in. God, thank you for no days off. God, thank God, thank you so much for growing my stability, growing my finances, growing my abundance. God, thank you so much. Thank you so much for peace. Thank you so much for abundance. Even if you can't see it, because seeing is not believing. You must first believe in order to truly see something come to fruition. Because the belief is the implantation of the intention that you are trying to manifest. Those of you who wanted a solid new foundation with this Aries or this Virgo, here they come. Or the father of your children. Here they come. Some of you all have someone in your energy who is very, very, very arrogant. However, they lean on you a whole lot financially. And some of you guys are putting an end to that shit. And in doing so, it's going to bring balance to your relationship. Some of you guys may be receiving proposals during this time, engagement. Some of you guys may be moving, taking your relationship to the next level, moving forward towards engagement, especially if you're dealing with the Taurus. Some of you all have a fire sign that's coming to talk. This could be, again, the father, the mother or father of your children. And I feel like in the past, their relationship was very toxic. But either you or this person has gone through a transformation and they want to salvage the relationship. They want to hold on. They want to move in peace. OK, but it's up to you to speak, speak your truth and set healthy boundaries, Leo, because for some of you all, it's a Scorpio. For some of you all, it's a Sagittarius. Some of y'all is Capricorn. But if it's this, this, this Capricorn, baby, I'm seeing strongly Capricorn and Aries. Y'all really loving on them. Y'all want to take that leap of faith with them as well as Taurus. Some of you all, you're wanting a deeper level of commitment, possibly from an Aquarius, especially if you have a child with this person, you're going to get what you want. Speak it as if, speak it as if it's already here to manifest it so that you can. I told you believing is seeing. You must first believe in order to truly, truly, truly see. Y'all are very creative. During this time, y'all, y'all third eye is booming. It's crazy. Some of y'all may even have a lot of deja vu moments. Some of you all have an air sign coming very abruptly that's going to bring you some information that's really going to bring change into your world. I feel like you and this person had a very toxic bond in the past. I feel also um this person really just wants to move out of conflict with you. They want to move away from, you know, indecisiveness. They want to move away from fussing and fighting. They want to move away from emotional manipulation. They want to move away from this. This could also be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They don't want to do this with you. They no longer want to do this. They want peace. But somebody's ego and their pride has to die. Maybe this person really just don't know how to fuck. You better watch what you say to me. Maybe they just don't know how to fuck to put some respect on it. But what's wrong with you being this queen of swords and letting their ass know? Put some respect on it. Some of y'all going to have to set up some clear cut boundaries with a Taurus as well. Let this person look. You ain't, did you, you've been in my life for 16 years. You don't want to put a ring on it? Look, that's, that's a hat. Look, I'm a whole uh, Thundercat out here. Stop playing with me. Sometimes you got to show a person that you're serious in order for you to truly see 
and and for them to embrace and let and let their ass know I need rest I need rest reciprocity receptivity I need for you to I need to know that what I'm doing is what I'm doing what I'm doing and what I give to this relationship I'm appreciated for it the fact that I keep fucking up my words somebody's coming forward towards y'all for reconciliation and they really don't know what the fuck to say to be honest Leo this could be you you could secretly be wanting to reconcile with a Scorpio or a Pisces. Some of y'all could have left this person to move towards the earth sign to find out they ain't shit. It has to do with past life karma. For some of you all, you have a past life relationship, possibly with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You want to know why that why their relationship is so intense. For some of y'all, it's definitely a Scorpio. Uh, but this person, here they come. They want to reconcile, okay? For some of you all... Especially if this person, you and this person has undergone a spiritual awakening. For some of you all, this person has come back and they ready. For a lot of you all, it's time to move forward towards your Ace of Cups and let that hurt go. It's a very, very, very healing time. And a lot of, it's a lot of harmony trying to take place here, Leo. It's time, everybody, it, whoever this is, you or whomever this is in your energy, somebody's not playing nice. And I got to say this, you reap what you sow. So this is a very, 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 very serious time to really watch how you treat people because it's very, especially if you want a person like me, my karma is very quick. I have immediate karma, instant karma, my shit coming right back. So I really, really watch what I say, how I talk to people. And Leo, if you've had someone, especially this air sign who's been verbally abusive, what you don't see coming is that this people, this, this person wants to be peaceful. Whomever this is coming back, they want to be peaceful. Because Karma didn't pull her damn stick out and got the weapon at ass. Weapon at ass. Okay? Mother Karma don't play fair. And she don't got no expiration date. The baddest bitch alive. Fuck all these long hair bundle bitches. That's the baddest bitch alive. Because she can't be stopped. So understand that if this is someone else that's deceptive in your energy, some of y'all could definitely be wanting to reconcile or want having a water sign, a cancer or a, a cancer, a Pisces or a Scorpio want to reconcile with you. However, this person still has some secrets that they need to get out their damn chest or it's going to fall in your lap. And I feel like you. this is what you're letting this person know. Understand this. Neither one of us are perfect, but it's about the efforts that we're willing to put forth. And some of y'all, it's a situation like that where you're reconciling with somebody and this reconciliation is you being pregnant. You are pregnant. Some of y'all have been pregnant. You just haven't been talking to the father of your child. Here they come. Now, you're going to handle it with pride and that shit didn't get you nowhere before. Are you going to be the bigger person in the situation to be willing to accept this change that this energy, that these, that these transits are really forcing Leos to do? It's up to you, my babies, what you want to do. It's time for you to be happy. You deserve it. But some of y'all, I'm going to be real with you. Spirit said about 40% of y'all got to sing to the pipe. Because you got to get the lesson out of this damn, you got to get the lesson other than seeing things that occurred on the surface. Why does this keep occurring with this person? What can I do? Be reflective instead of argumentative. Okay? Be understanding and compassionate. Instead of egotistical. Because you can't get shit with no ego and you damn sure can't buy nothing with pride. Fix it, baby. Because it's a lot of it's a lot surrounding family, soulmates, twin flames, but a lot of y'all knowing you gotta move away from something in order to have something greater. And you gotta trust that it's okay to be by yourself. Some of y'all really need to get to know yourself and fall in love with yourself again. Because you've been so busy people pleasing and giving, 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 giving. So that you had when you have that time to really step back, like, damn, everybody then took all this from me. But I can't ask nobody for nothing. It's up to you to change. Change starts with you. People do what you allow them to do, so it's time for Leo to put their motherfucking foot down, speak your truths, to shift your realities. Okay? This is what I have for y'all between the 16th and the 31st of October. But it's time, my Queen of Wands, it's time to sit on your motherfucking throne. Nobody keeps the seat warmer than you, <laughs> and nobody do it better. It's time to take your seat. Will you rise?
or not. Your happiness is up to you. Remember that. Many blessings. Much love. Much abundance. Much light. Much, much, much healing energy towards you and yours. Y'all my family. No shade. I love y'all. So, so much. And I want to see you win. And please, if you need a personal, get in on that. Love y'all. Bye.